Hello everybody, Charlie Cummins again, now on Phoenix Masonry Training Center. Today we're going to talk about, this is a line dog. This is what we call it in Texas, line dog. It's called different things, different places, but here's what you use them for, to hold the line up. These are what we call corner blocks. This one here was given to us by Summit, by the Masonry Contractors Association of America. If it wasn't for them, uh, there wouldn't be as much masonry, okay? And this one here is from Summit Brick. Make some of the best brick going, okay? They give us these corner blocks. Sometimes you have to pay for them, sometimes they give them to you. And you can see here the corner blocks. This is what they call a twig, okay? Now the reason you have a twig is, this, let's just say this wall is 80 feet long. The line, you can pull it 150, 60 degrees of uh, pressure, get it real tight, the line is gonna sag a little bit. So the guy in the middle who sets a twig He'll lay the unit and be just a little bit above the line. Then they take and put the line up. The guy on the pull end, which is the right side, we'll get into that, he sights it. And he can tell the guy that's setting a twig, you're a little high, you're a little low. Okay? That keeps the wall straight. All right? Now, for demonstration purposes, I've got those wooden corner blocks. These are wooden corner blocks. I've got them on the out over there. Okay. I always lay block with the line on the outside. In other words, I don't want to, if I'm standing over here, I don't want to lay the block over the line. I want to lay the block to the line. It's a lot easier. Uh, before I get into a whole lot of stuff here, I'm going to show you how to tie these things up. Now here's the corner block, okay? Masonry Contractors Association, all right? Here's the way you do it. Hold it like this. You're gonna be going this way, okay? Push it like that. I like to take, you got this much, you got this much slack. I like to take and one, two, three, four, and then come down through there, bring it around, come down through there, at least twice, and then you put it up. Now, you've got to be sure that everybody knows that this corner block is there, because if a hottie or somebody happens to walk by and knock it off, you got a projectile going down about 100 miles an hour, and if it hits somebody in the kidney or the eye or whatever, they're going to the hospital, okay? So you gotta be real careful with these corner blocks. Make sure everybody knows and you got it up there secure and everything else. Then of course, you get down here on this end. This is a pull guy. The guy always, if we're looking at the wall like this. You got the pin and the pull. This guy just, puts it up, this guy down here always tightens the line. So in other words, in other words, he pulls the line and when he gets it as tight as he wants, he comes over here and he wraps it the same way and he pulls it and sticks it on, okay? Now, we pretty much understand that. We've got that under control. So, uh, it comes down to uh, the pin and the pull. And like I said, for demonstration only, I've got the corner box on the inside. That means you got to lay, pick the block up and lay it over the line. That's hard, okay? We need to make this as easy as possible. So when you got, when I'm laying block, I want the block, the line on the inside. That way, you're laying the block to the line. Okay, you're laying it to the line, 
less strenuous, means more block in the wall, okay? Now, let's get into how we, uh, how we tie, what we, how we use these line dogs, okay? The way that I do it is this. We're on this end, the pin end, okay? I just take and put it like that. I wrap it around about three times, and then I go one course, two course, three course, four course, five, six courses, which is what I have here. We got six courses on here, okay? Now the reason you do that is because you got three or four bricklayers in here. You can't see the, the pin guy can't see the pull guy, okay? So you finish the course and you put the line up. All you have to do, let's just say the line was here. See, the line was here. I take it off. I roll one off. And I stick it back on, you see? Stick it on like that. Put it up here. And then, before you do anything else, you pull it. Tag it. Because this guy down here on the pull end, he can't see you. He don't know when you're up. So if he pulls the line, I feel the tug. I know that he's ready to go. I don't have to mess with this. All I have to do is just pull it, and the line's right. Okay? The line is right. Without, you know, being effortlessly. Okay? Now, the way that you tie this is very simple. Sometimes being simple is hard to realize. It took me a bunch of long time to learn how to do this. All right. You always got the line in your right hand if you're on the pull in. You take, the way I have to do it is I turn my hand around and I flip it. In other words, I've got the line like this. Then I stick this in, catch it, see, it's pretty simple. Then all you got to do is take and do that number. And once you do that, you shouldn't, for the next six courses, you don't have to mess with it. You don't have to pull because it's right, because he's cutting you the slack on the, the uh, pin in, and so you got the pull in and you just stick it up. And if you need something, all you got to do, if you need to adjust it, just take the loop off and then go back around. Go back around. And put the line up. Put the line up. These, like I said, these twigs, I've seen some stuff and in, uh, in magazines and everything else. They've got something else they're using for twigs and something else they're using for what I call corner blocks and line dogs and all this. Uh, I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. It looks too dangerous to me. This is the hot setup. I mean, you've got corner blocks, you've got a twig, you've got these line dogs, and then, of course, you've got line pins. Can you stop it for a second? This is a line pin, okay? And with line pins, you would stick them in here, whatever you want to do. Uh, a lot of times, I've always, I'm, I'm forgetting as many blocks in the wall as humanly possible. In other words, I don't waste a lot of time stocking everything up. And the main reason I don't is I always did big jobs, so I always had to pay prevailing wage, okay? Uh, I don't like to stock a scaffold and get, it, get the block stacked up and then have the bricklayers come to work. We work as a team, okay? That way you can get it. A lot of times, I mean, I pull on jobs, park the pickup truck in line with the wall, tied the, line, tied the string onto the doorknob, of the car, truck, run the line to the corner and drive a stake in the ground, spot one here, spot one there, we're laying blocks, okay? 
I mean, I've even, people thought I was a ready mix truck. I've, I've left one job with mud in the mixer and let, the, let it run until I get to the other job, okay? Don't waste nothing. Well, that pretty much concludes it. I hope you get something out of this. If you got any questions, hit me up. Uh, I'm Charlie Commons. Uh, you've got my email address and everything else. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. We'll give you, uh, uh, if you're interested, we've got a book I'm giving away called The Secret of Squaring Up Buildings. I've sold it for 50 bucks. I'll give it to you. All you got to do is ask, and you shall receive. Now, in our training center with the Master Mason course, we're going to teach you to lay 150 brick, modular brick, in one hour or less. We're going to teach you to lay 50 block, 8 inch block, in one hour or less. You're going to build all the corners and leads out of brick and block. But the final test is you build a two foot square brick chimney or pier. You lay a hundred brick, modular brick, two hours or less. You're going to lay, build the same size pier out of these eight inch block and you're going to lay uh, 24 eight inch block on the same size pier. All this is jointed, brushed off, and rejointed. When you can do that, you can go demand top pay anywhere in the United States or the world for that matter. If you want to stay in the United States, we work with employment staffing companies. They can get you a job anywhere you want to live in the United States of America, okay? Uh, you're going to be assured that you're going to be making top dollar. Ain't nobody going to mess around with your wages. They're going to promote you. Now, why does an employment staffing company care how much money you make? Easy. The more money you make, the more money they make. Okay? So everybody's scratching everybody's back on this. We guarantee you'll be working in the masonry industry or double your money back. Thank you, folks. Have a good day. See you on the wall. Goodbye.